suicide. As early as 1896, a Swedish scientist named Svantu Arrhenius suspected that burning these fuels on such a massive scale might actually change the atmosphere. But it would take another 50 years for the first pieces of evidence to emerge to back up the theory. In 1957, climatologist Charles Keeling set out to measure the natural rise and fall of carbon dioxide levels as vegetation absorbs it during the spring growth and expels it during fall decomposition. He noticed that the natural ups and downs of the carbon cycle weren't following a straight line. They were actually climbing, which meant more and more CO2 was remaining in the atmosphere each year. His graph, documenting the CO2 rise, became known as the Keeling Curve. The Keeling Curve proved that human beings are increasing the levels of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere, and carbon dioxide is a primary global warming gas. Fossil fuels that took millions of years to form, we are now burning and releasing as carbon dioxide in just a few decades and the effects are irreversible because the gases, once they're emitted, stay in the atmosphere for decades, centuries, even millennia. While we sit here, we're breathing some of the CO2 that was emitted by the first Model T, and some of it will still be here a thousand years from now. That's the way we're building in an irreversible problem. The global scientific community no longer questions how we got to this point. It worries that we are pushing the climate to the point of no return.